If you're not a fan of flying hideous insects, yeah. Nope. It may soon feel like the end of the world. But I love the sound. <laughs> yes. it, it's like nostalgia for me. So this summer, a very unusual cicada season is about to hit many parts of the country. Mark Martinez joins us now with more. Mark, I know you're not the biggest fan, but the sound yeah. is kind of nostalgic. It is. It does bring back a certain memory, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> we don't have to see these a lot. That's the thing. But I've been descri described, they've been described as like, flying roaches, basically. And this summer, billions of cicadas are set to appear in a rare double brood emergence. And experts say that in some places there will be no avoiding the noisy insects. It's like an entire alien species living underneath our feet. They're some of nature's most resilient creatures. Some prime number of years, they come out to say hello. Periodical cicadas, the kind that emerge every 13 to 17 years, are expected to start showing up in just a few weeks. But this time, there could be more than we can handle. A rare double dose of the bugs that can sing as loud as jet engines is about to hit the south, then move north to the Midwest. All thanks to a combination of two separate types of cicadas that haven't bred at the same time since 1803. This year we're going to get two broods that are going to emerge at the same time and multiply by a hundred, a thousand. We're going to get trillions of these amazing living organisms come out of the earth. And it's already underway. Scientists have been observing boreholes created throughout the southeast, meaning the cicadas are preparing to emerge. They usually leave their underground hiding places when the ground heats to 64 degrees, and that's happening a bit earlier than usual. They're annoying, but not harmful, and experts are ready to collect a treasure trove of valuable information when the double dose ramps up. I think we get to appreciate, you know, this fragile planet we cohabitat with so many beautiful uh, systems, small, but a lot in number, and uh, so much we don't know yet. Now, the good news is that these specific cicadas will not be here in Arizona, but if you travel anywhere in the south or the Midwest, you'll likely encounter them. And we will have our own regular cicada season. That's during the monsoon, of course, when we start hearing that sound that Christina loves so much. <laughs> I really do. It she reminds me of when I was a kid. Yeah, yes, but they were out of sight, out of mind. We never saw them. It was just kind of background noise back in Philly. And uh, Yeah, I think yeah. when we were seeing this one up close, it's Ugh. kind of gross looking, you know? So yeah. <laughs> Kind of? I don't yeah, want to see them. Is. I just want to so hear at least, them. Yeah, as you said, Christina, at least <laughs> we don't have to, like, look at them and hear them. When it comes to nature sounds, though, I think I'm more of, like, a crickets or like frogs or something like that so oh, okay. just, just you know well, they go on and on and on chirping birds own. yeah <laughs> chirping birds is fine yeah. yeah all right thanks mark you're welcome appreciate it <laughs>